today I will interview with students in Bronte about their culture. As you know, Bronte College is a, an international school and there have too many different cultures. And let's get started! Brian, can you tell me some information about your culture background? Um, yeah, um, hello Alicia. Uh, first thing, like, Vietnam is uh, country is so unique and like, it's almost uh, at the same as um, the Asian countries, almost Asian countries. Um, so first one, um, every body, everybody in Vietnam uh, treated very well with the elders. So, the youth uh, need to respect the elders. Um, it's not like um, in, in the Western countries when like we have the same in the community, but uh, like the youth in Vietnam quite um, need to respect and listen to the elders. Second thing is, um, I think that Vietnamese uh, people are very, very uh, strict about education. Um, because uh, like everyone wants to be a good student, we need to have a good uh, grades. Everyone wants to be a good student, need to be like study at universities. Like um, college in, in Vietnam is nothing. Um, the, the first thing is, uh, let's see, oh, Vietnam has very so many, so many festivals. But most of it, um, most of it, most of them like um, want to like let's see, um, they want to celebrate about like the the traditional, the traditional things, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so. The culture in Vietnam is very, very interesting, right? So, uh, the second question yeah. is, uh, do you think Canada is a multicultural country? Uh, absolutely, I think, yeah, Canada is a multiple, multicultural country because, like, as we see, like, in Canada, we have seen a lot of people from different countries have to work here, have to live here. And then um, every we have seen like very so many skin colors, um, let's see races, and then yeah, very you have like like as uh, Canadian English has so many accents, so many different accents. People from like uh, China have a different accents. People from Asia, like Vietnam, have a different accents, and people from India have a different accents. People also on like um, from African have a different accent, so it's quite very, you know, very interesting to learn from the different country, uh, the different countries. We have a chance to learn from them. Yeah. Yeah. So I think so. So the third question is, do you, what do you think about the race between different culture group in Canada? Uh, it's quite tough. Like I want to say that it's it's very annoying. It's very, you know, it's tough. Um, some people opportunities to do something good. Um, well, it's it's a problem. It's really a pro problem for for us to want to uh, resolve it. Okay, so uh, the the question from Ryan is, uh, have you faced any cultural star star tie in your life? Uh, sadly, yes. I want to. So I have uh, an uh, experience that I I play for a basketball team in my school, uh, for my school, and some African guy, some black guy, and some even some like, some guy told me that like you you are Asian dude, you cannot play even like five minutes in a game. Yeah, that's time like. We all have played uh, some tilt type of student um, in 
Asian is good at math, something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay, so uh, the final question is if you have faced uh, cultural racism, how can you overcome it? Uh, I think like I think the best way the best way is communication. We need to communicate with them like so they can say hi and try to uh, sorry? Try to family, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we need to try to yeah, be friendly. We need to try to say hi with them. Say hi with some who like talking um something bad about you. We need to like we need to show a good thing from you from your great side to them and then they need um, they will realize it. Hopefully they will realize it. Yeah, yeah I think so, so thank you Brian for coming today. Uh so okay. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Hi Encho, how are you? Thank you. So let's get started. Can you tell me some information about your culture background? Um, so for the first questions um, about my cultural background, so I'm come from Hong Kong. So um, basically, my um, so Hong Kong culture um, actually was born in a second function of East and West. So it not only kept many Chinese traditions, but also experienced a baptism of Western culture. So this situation led to a diversity of the culture and the people. Um, they are open mind to accept variety. So you can see that like, Hong Kong is um, a very diversity um, places. So um, like. Culture in Hong Kong is actually a mixture of West and East. Mm, your culture is very interesting. So, the second question is Do you think Canada is a multicultural country? So, for the second question, is so for the second question, is um. society because like um people in Canada there there have many people in Canada which is like um Chinese, Vietnamese and French people so um like many countries of people um like and plan to immigrate migrate to Canada. So Canada I think is a very diversity and multicultural country. So for the third question, what do you think about the racism between different cultural groups in Canada? So um, the third question, um, so I think like about the racism between different cultural groups in Canada, I think it happens, for example, like black people and versus white people. So like their race racism each other or like um i think this problem is actually like happened nowadays and um for example like now um the COVID 19 so i believe like many people many kind of people are racism chinese people because of the COVID 19 because the corona, coronavirus. Yes. So, have you faced any culture stereotype in your life? I think I haven't like faced any cultural racism. Yes, and that's it. So, hi, Lucia. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Uh, are you ready to interview? Yeah, I'm ready. You can ask. Also, uh, the first question is, can you tell me some information about your culture background? Um, sure. I am a Chinese. 
Uh, I'm from China, Beijing, which is the capital of China. Uh, China is located at the East Asia, and uh, it has the largest population of the world. Okay, so uh, do you think Canada is a multicultural country? Yeah, I do think Canada is a multicultural country because uh, here uh, I meet uh, the people from all over the world and they all have the uh, different culture. Okay, so what do you think about rising between different cultures in Canada? Uh, I don't think the racism is very obvious in Canada because uh, here the uh, the can the Canadian I meet here, they are very, f most of them are very, very friendly and very nice to those people who are uh, from the different country and um, they are welcome to uh, make friends with them. Okay, so have you faced any cultural stereotype in your life? Yeah, I. Uh, the first year I came to Canada, I heard the word called uh, Chinglish, which means the accent of Chinese uh, when they are talking English. And this word makes, really makes me feel not that good because this is a racism and um, when I uh, when I'm talking or uh, answering the questions, uh, my accent ha is not that good. Or when I uh, use the wrong word, I can feel that people, some of the people is uh, looking at me very weird and maybe they are t talking about my accent. Okay, so how can you overcome it? Um, through the three years I came to Canada, uh, I learned a thing that I need to leave those vo those sound voice. Um, so I just try to don't care of those people's uh, what they are what they are talking because all we know uh, the racism is not right. So you just forgot what they are saying. Okay, uh, thank you, Lucia. Uh, thank you for interview with me today. Uh, I hope you have a good night. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Thank. It's okay. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you.